bar, os, and then in this thing I put it RTMF, R is real, and T is Tavares, and MF is just motherfucker. Pedro Barros from Brazil. It looks like it's not supposed, I mean, not that it's not supposed to be there, but it doesn't match there yet, because I'm no way as close as those guys yet. For me, it's a pleasure to be there. I mean, being my name next to Bucky, Omar, and Rue, and uh, Chris Miller and Cab is just really good. The thing that, I think sometimes it was like a dream. I mean, when you're in a bowl, for me, you gotta skate like a bowl. So the combi, I like it. And when it really makes it look like a bowl is in the round and those two hips they have, or you go off that hip into the shallow. Last year, I got stuck in a very line. I was doing like 540s. I did like three 540s after another on the square, like vert line. Some people said it was pretty cool, but I just know it wasn't that cool because I was in the bowl and I was doing bird line. I like watching a lot of guys skating, especially, especially I think Alex Perlson is a guy that does thing and blows my mind each time. You don't you won't see him winning much contest but you'll see him doing things no one does. 50-50 to the corner. Blunt kick flip baggy. So yeah, with amazing style too. Makes it look easy. Omar is pretty like explosive. He's got his own style and he's got his own way to skate too. He does his own tricks. Sometimes it doesn't look that difficult. If you actually realize what he's doing, he rips. Every time he's in the ball, he's ripping. Omar is for sure a guy that you watch skating and makes you want to skate. Bob Burnquist is for sure a guy that you're always watching and you can't believe what he's doing and you can't believe that's actually possible to do in skating. Rune, he's been doing some really gnarly stuff, really, really gnarly stuff. I don't know how you can explain that. I don't know how a person can hold a skateboard that much in the, the air without putting their hands on. And a lot of people, they don't give much attention to tricks not grabbing a boy. But I think that's the hardest thing on skating because you're actually only controlling it with your feet and nothing else. Just your feet and your, and your legs. He wants to win it this year. What? Oh, backside blast in the corner. Yeah, you don't see too many people going big backside in those corners. Backside by 40. I got here. The first day almost I heard Bucky was injured. He broke his foot. A little bit after that, Room skated and he hurt his knee. 
and after that I heard Bob got hurt too and then I was skating and then I got hurt and really thought I wasn't gonna be able to compete I thought I was gonna have to to just watch the contest because I couldn't even touch my heel on the on the floor and it's just a thing that happens injury just happens in skating and it's not much you can do about it you can just accept that you're hurt and wait because you're gonna get better and you're gonna be skating again and that's what where I see it. I'm Tony Hawk, <laughs> professional skateboarder. What are your thoughts on Pedro Barros? He's he's unbelievable. I mean, he's got it all. He's got the he's got the new stuff. He's got the old stuff, and he's got the speed. And he's got the height. Skateboarding is just my life, and I do it every day. Keep skating and keep traveling, and have fun with skating. And that's all. I don't really look forward to winning contests. I just that just happens naturally in skating. If it's supposed to happen, it'll happen.